I've basically done all the metal work on the tank now and um, it's full of muck full of dirt from years of grime and all that so uh, this is the instructions for the tank sealer it's a three-part system there's a cleaner and degreaser then a metal prep which prepares the metal obviously for the tank sealer and it's quite a long process this but you have to do it by the instructions because if you don't there's a very good chance it won't work I've got some bungs for the tank that will fit the um, top step one cleaner degreaser that's that bottle there uh, it's a powerful cleaner that will remove gums varnishes and sludge that may be accumulated in your tank it is absolutely essential to remove all foreign matter from your tank before sealing it because no sealer will work properly if contamination is present so you have to clean it you really do mix half of the quart bottle with the same amount of hot water and pour that into the tank obviously seal the tank first wear gloves and eye protection all times so shake the tank then place it in a different position every hour so the solution can cover all of the inside of the tank when all surfaces have been subject subjected to the cleaning solution shake it again then drain out the tank rinse it with water dump out the water and start all over again uh, the first time you drain the solution it will be very dirty after the second solution has been discarded the tank should be clean just check that you are happy that the tank is clean so rinse the tank out again with fresh warm water and drain thoroughly then force dry it dry it with something like a pet hoover or one of them motorcycle dryers or something like that just blow blow air in till it's completely dry get it dry as quick as possible to stop the flash, flash rusting uh, right so you can use a heat gun it says here um, or a hair dryer hair dryer is a good one yeah just stick a hair dryer in it that will do the job so that's the first step so we'll come back and read the second step when we've done the first one but this is quite intensive yeah so there it is I've had to put a, a nitrile glove around the bung just to properly Get it to seal so this bung doesn't go too far down it's all watertight you can see under there there's another bung in that corner no drips on that or anything so this is its first hour right so that's uh, one hour on every side i mean it's been on its it's been on its belly it's been on its side it's been on the other side and it's been on its back for an hour on each that's four hours in total now you have to um, shake the tank drain it out and uh, fill it with water and swill it all out and then force dry it but uh, it's been a good day for doing this because it's been nice and warm and let's see what color all this is now what I'll do is I'll turn these up, I think, so I can get the drain plug working on the bottom. There it is. Right, that'll do there. I'll get the front a little further this way. That'll keep it steady. Ooh. full because that's about the same amount as what we put in okay so uh, I might have to get the hair dryer out for this as before hour per side that's another four hours so 
should be wearing gloves actually, but I'll go and wash my hands straight away. Right, that'll do. Put the bungie in again. Just a nitrile glove wrapped around it, so you can push that in there and it'll seal it, and you can also get it out again, which is the main thing. Right, just check for leaks. No, we're not leaking, we're all good. So this is gonna take another four hours of uh, one hour per side. So I'm gonna do the right way up first, then I'll do the side, one of the sides, then the other side, and lastly, the top. So that's the last step of that. So when I dump all that stuff out after four hours, fill it full of water again, give it a good shake, drain it out and force, uh, force dry it. So it says here, when the tank is totally dry, <clears throat> pour in the whole of the metal prep, and keep swilling around the tank so the solution coats the whole of the inside for no more than 20 minutes and then pour the metal prep back into its bottle as this product is reusable so don't throw it away then you must rin rinse out the tank thoroughly the metal prep is an excellent pre-primer for the tank sealer which is that bit it will leave a zinc phosphate coating on the inner walls of your tank which is good uh, which, which will guarantee that the sealer will stick. When you have rinsed out the tank with warm water, again force dry the tank. The sealer will not adhere if there's any moisture in the right. tank. It's day two, and uh, what I did last night, instead of pouring out the cleaner degreaser, I left it in the tank because it was too late in the evening to force dry the tank and you know dry, you know this that and the other and put this stuff in and carry on okay so this is uh the second drain off of the degreaser so let's see how clean this is this time and whether we've lost any i don't know we should fill this bucket up just about let's get that up definitely cleaner that is in fact, that's almost, I'd say that's almost as clear as when it went in. Bung it up again and swell it out with water. Right, time for the metal prep. I've put a bung in the, the cock hole. I'm leaving the top open this time because I want to get this uh, neck in there treated and the bung sort of seals up on that inner lip so that would be no good if we use the bung so we're doing away with the bung now i'm going to put some um, gaffer tape over this it's only a 20 minute process this one so i'm hoping it'll seal okay and it won't do any damage anyway right tape up the hole on the top and shake it around Got a bit of a leak I've noticed along this edge somewhere. I'm just gonna find out where that's coming from. Let's walk. See if that sticks. Is that gonna stick? I can hear it dripping somewhere else as well. So I'll just tip it up. See where it's coming out. Alright. Just there. Alright, so if I decide to weld that up, at least I know the problem area. Right, bung back in, let's go and rinse it out. Okay, so the tank's been swilled out with cold water and then warm water, uh, just to make sure been in the shower had a good swill out for ages had a good force dry with the pet uh, dryer uh, it's very powerful air on that and you can put a heater on as well so that's good it got it dry in no time really so I've just got this uh, little piece of the old pet cock I've bunged up the outer end and uh, just put some um, sealer on the what do you call it and then when I've put the sealer in and swilled it all around I could just bung this out to drain it out and it'll protect the thread so when we take this out the, the thread won't have um, tank sealer all over it basically so I don't know if I'm going to go down with this that 
should be tight enough. I've had a hole open up during this process, a little tiny dink hole there, and I think I suspect there's one there somewhere, but I can't see it. There's, I reckon it's just that very, very slight nick there. I can't see anything else. So, uh, again, I'm going to put gaffer tape over the top here so that we can treat the inner neck. Do not shake the can. Oh, well, that's good. I didn't shake it, shake it then. Take off the lid and thoroughly stir the product so that there is no pigment left in the bottom of the tin. Manky old screwdriver. Then pour the entire can of fuel tank sealer into the tank and roll the tank around so that the inside of the tank is completely coated. Then drain off any excess back into the can for at least 10 minutes to ensure that the sealer has not puddled in the bottom of the tank, that is. After you have done this, do not put the lid back on the can as it is liable to pop off. Leave the can open and it will harden overnight, then dispose of it the following day. So after we have done this, we've got to leave the, leave the tank at least four days for the sealer to fully cure. Force drying this will not make it any quicker. You've got to let it cure it in its own time. That's what it says here. And I, you know, honest, you've got to do it exactly. Don't be in a rush to do this job because this, this takes days. So there's no pigment left in the bottom of that. I'm going to bin this rag before I pick it up again and wipe my nose with it. Just going to pour it all in, sweat it about. Pour it out. In, out, in, out. Shake it all about. Okie dokie, let's get this rolled around then. Got to give it time to run around the tank to all the recesses. So I think we've been, uh, been all around it. It's not come out of the cap yet, so that's good. I don't know what you're supposed to do with this brush you get, but uh, if anything, I can wipe, just dab around the inside of the neck with that, just to take any excess, because it is looking a bit puddled up there. Okay, so um, it's had its four days, over 96 hours now. It's way past its time. Um, that's finished today, so it's Wednesday. Uh, to show you, if I can show you the inside of the tank, I will. It's a bit dark. It's getting a bit dark now, though, because I've been working on this tank. But can you see in there it's how clean it is in there? It looks like a new tank, really. Not a new tank, but you know what I mean. Not a 22-year-old tank. I don't, that. You, I don't think you'll see much else. Can you see that? No. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that. You know the leaks we had, um, I'm pretty sure that they, they were stopped, they were certainly gone. I couldn't find any evidence of where they were. I do know from, because I marked it with an arrow, where they were. But uh, that tank sealer just disappeared, made the holes disappear. 